Have a good day. So today we are exploring Delhi once again. Started with Tuk Tuk ride and now a temple. Heads have to be covered, even guys will need to wear pants, so we gotta change real quick. There you go, much better. So everyone has to cover their head before we wash our hands and our feet. And we have somebody that was kind enough to guide us in. By making the common water body available for everybody, this was a message by our gurus that anybody can come to gain the teachings and can use the water as well, so to promote equality. So we didn't want to vlog too much inside. It's a place of worship. People are praying and everything. Yeah. So here's everything that we've learned. It was such a great experience. I'm kind of blown away to be honest. <laughs> so the Sikh religion is the fifth largest religion in the world. And it's a religion of caring, equality. Yeah. It's just sharing. It's, it's oh, truly community. beautiful. Community, yeah. yeah community would basically. be the right word. So like even in the sense of they even have like their own hospital here that is free. They have their own pharmacy here that is free. Um, a cost. Well, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> and then even your kitchen, like at your meal times, they have just like a communal dining room you go there you can get your food for free they have a machine that makes chapati 4,000 chapati an hour they serve they serve 25,000 yeah. meals a day and it can go up to a uh, hundred thousand meals a day uh, for special holidays and I think it's important to note too this is all run by volunteer yeah all run by volunteers all the food all the care that they're they're providing it's yeah. all like a community funded Basically, so yeah Sikh members uh, have to give 10% of their earnings yeah. uh, back to the community but when you come here it doesn't matter if you're not a Sikh person if you if if you're here for medical help, That's if you're hungry, thing. you can come. Everyone is equal, no matter your skin color, your sex, your status. Your religion you're status welcome. too, yeah. which You're is welcome very to come here and have a meal. Yeah, very impressed. <laughs> Off to the next spot. Our tuk-tuk driver just, just left us. He said, I'm gonna go get water, and he <laughs> disappeared. The oh, keys are in, I could drive, Tracy. <laughs> Welcome to Ugrasa K. Bioli. So in plain terms, um, this is basically a well. <laughs> it's pretty big though. It's 60 meter long, 15 meters wide, and it has a 108 meters, so it collects rainwater, and no matter how much water there is in the well because of the stair system, people can always access the water. But right now, I can tell you, this place didn't see water in a while. Yeah, no. Thank you. I found a Starbucks. So this is definitely the most inexp inexpensive Starbucks that I've ever had. Um, I don't even know what I have. I just asked for something less sweet and with skim. Really good. I think it's some type of like mocha something. Anyways, so welcome to Con Market. We had met someone in the parking lot. Don't quote me on these facts. This is just what I was told by someone who works here. That is, it is has over a thousand shops in it and is the most inexpensive market in India. I'm slightly skeptical on that one, but we'll just let it be. We're really not sure about the uh, inexpensive part because this market is actually super nice and there's a bunch of like bigger brands, like uh, name one, Tracy. Um, like Kiehl's Face Thing, there's <laughs> The Body Shop, 
She knows brands, Starbucks. Oh, Although, okay, Starbucks. with Starbucks, to be fair, the mug that I got is normally like $25, and we it was paid 11. 11. So, uh, yeah. it's cheap. So this place has all kinds of store, like uh, cosmetics, um, food, a lot of snacks. We just found like a store that has all the North American uh, brands that we can't find anywhere in Kenya either. Uh, there's a uh, Okshiyane. Is that is that a good brand? Honestly, I've you never tell been me. there, but I've heard it's good. Well, yeah, it's a very very beautiful market. I'm impressed. Me too. So I think we figured out what he meant. Um, basically, there was a face wash, just like a Cetaphil face wash that I wanted to buy. And to give you perspective, in Canada, it's like 15 to $20. In Kenya, it's like $25. Qatar, it was $40. And here, it was $10. So I think he just means like cheapest retrospective with all the brands. So con market, it is very nice, I would recommend, but just keep in mind this is no authentic Indian experience or anything oh, like no, that. No. But it's still like a very nice and beautiful market. You can find a lot of like international brands at a much cheaper price. So that's much, actually super much cheaper. Now we're gonna take a walk through the city and go to one of the best authentic butter chicken restaurants in, in Delhi. Tomato apparently. based butter chicken, not yeah. the one we saw in the last. It was year. recommended to us by our tour guide, yeah. so crossing the street, crossing the street. Ah! We got luck. Without this bus uh, backing up into the intersection, we would have never crossed that street. Ever. And this is why we're walking. Look at this traffic. If we ever uh, move in India and in Delhi, I'm just buying a moped. That's it. <laughs> just a moped to go around cars. So I drive a moped. Oh my god, this one not dangerous. Oh, no problem. I can touch. No problem. Whoa. Still venomous. Cobra. Cobra. Okay. Oh. Okay? Wow. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Wow. I'm so glad this happened. But that was very scary. Tracy stayed as far as possible from the snake. He had two snakes. And at some point he put the cobra on me. Oh. I'm just like wondering if they're still poisonous. I've heard that like apparently they're still poisonous. Anyway, at some point the cobra looked at me like that and it was very mm. close to me. He and then spit. I was like, I'm done, I'm done. No, he didn't spit. What a cool experience. No. After that, he asked me for a thousand rupees. I did not give him that. Yeah, no. You anyway, need to wash your hands. That, that really was crazy. Me out. Okay, now we're gonna go eat. I'm shaking a little bit. So now that that is over with, welcome to Gulati. Um, this is actually recommended for our food guide yesterday. Okay, so if you want the best butter chicken, like the tomato-based butter chicken, then this is the place to go. So we're gonna see if that statement is true. So like we told you earlier, this was a recommendation from our food tour guide from yesterday, but we thought it was kind of a personal preference or something like that. But no, as soon as you come into the restaurant, there's a wall full of award for the best butter chicken. So my expectations are pretty high right now. So let's see how this is. Supposedly the best authentic butter chicken. That was really good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm. So here's the thing. I don't know if it's the best butter chicken in India or in Delhi because we arrived here two days ago. But I can guarantee you that this is the best butter chicken I personally ever had. When you eat with your finger, this is what your napkin looked like. No regrets. Loved every single second of it. You know what they taste like? The black licorice things that are coated and they're like little things like this. What are those back home? I don't like black licorice. So quick review of that uh, butter chicken. Fan freaking 
fantastic. If so, you're ever in Delhi, so you good. gotta go check out the come and check out the butter chicken here because yes. it's it's amazing. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Up to the next spot. Yeah. To the tuk tuk. Trying to get our over. I learned that when you're in a tuk tuk, there's no such way as a one way. So welcome to Qutub Minar and this tall brick tower behind me is a minaret and basically it is a landmark to show the presence of Islam in a specific area. And fun fact too, it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yeah, That's and it's mouthful. beautiful. <laughs> we were comparing it a little bit to like the Red Fort because of like the, it's like in a park yeah. and there's a lot of different buildings and stuff. But I think that this place is actually yeah. a little bit better. It is beautiful. I do have to say, if you have the choice between the two, I would come here. Yeah. It's stunning. So this place costs actually 600 rupees per person if you're a foreigner. And I think like 45 if you're an Indian, much cheaper if you're an Indian. Definitely worth it. Yes, highly worth it in my opinion. And now we are back on a tuk tuk. On an adventure, not really. We're going back to Kanoa <laughs> now. Thank you. So pro tip for tuk-tuks, you can either fly them on the side of the road and if you do so, make sure to always negotiate the price before. But if you want to make sure to get like More like an local. Indian local price, uh, use Uber because it's pretty fixed close price to it. and it's always so far from our experience, it's always cheaper. So we just did a quick stop at our hotel to drop the bags and everything. By the way, we were staying at the Cannot. It's a very nice hotel. Yeah, it is. It's expensive, is it? Uh, yeah. How much? Uh, for four nights, it's like twelve hundred dollars Canadian. So three hundred bucks a night, yeah. but it's a very good location, very nice room. The food is delicious, so you know. It's basically I left it a little bit too last minute. <laughs> there was a ton of hotels, and then all of a sudden they got all booked. Our up. fault, lack so, of planning. Anyway, yeah. so that's done. Now we're gonna go to a little walk around the Connaught place and go into one of the best vegetarian restaurant for south indian vegetarian food a great restaurant let's go it's worth noting that the temperature right now is just lovely in india it doesn't gorgeous. get too hot even in the middle of the day and then in at Delhi. night yeah and then at night it's just lovely low 20s i'm a fan oh yeah it's gorgeous everyone is setting up for the night market maybe we'll check it out on our way back hard rock cafe It does look very popular. I mean, the restaurant is completely packed. We just have menus. We didn't know what to order, so I asked the server what we should order. He told us two different things. We said yes, and we shall see. So apparently they have like international franchises, and there's even three in Canada. Ontario gets two, and BC gets a third one. The thing that they brought is so big that it's funny. Some people are like, hard crepe with different sauces. Mm. That's very good. It's really, it's really hot. So Saranava Bhavan, I mean it had nothing on the butter chicken we had for lunch, but it was still pretty good. And I mean really good. we only paid 495 uh Indian money, rupees, rupees <laughs> Sorry, for the two meals and we were literally yeah. served within five minutes. Yeah, it was so really fast. I, once again, I'm not sure what we ate, but our waiter brought us two things that he dosa. said were very good. It was some type of dosa. Dosa, dosa. Yeah. yeah, anyway, it was very good. 
satisfied. So we're just walking through the night market right now and I would say 90% of it is clothes, mainly socks to be honest, a little bit of shoes, a little bit of sunglasses and other fashion accessories, but that's pretty much it. So you might be wondering, is it safe to walk in Delhi at night? Well, here's my experience. We've done it twice, nothing crazy. It's also not 3 a.m., it's just past 7 p.m. But I would say at night, there's way less people coming to us, following us, asking for photos, all that kind of stuff. Like literally yeah. the two nights we did it, nobody came to us at all. Um, there's a lot of cops and private security like almost everywhere. But again, we're uh, around the, the, the Connaught place, which like is a very area. popular place. Yeah. So I feel like totally fine. Thank you. Thank you. We survived another day in Delhi. Yeah. I would say highlight the temple this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, the day's been so long, I'm like, wait a sec, what did we do this morning? Yeah, so we're gonna get showered and go to bed because we have a 2.30 a.m. wake up. Why you ask? Well, subscribe and you'll know. Yeah. But until then, see you guys in the next one. Oh, the Cobra Man was also very cool.